So photo upload functionality has been added in our previous video. Uh, let's update our API to add a few more endpoints, uh, one for uh, to change this primary photo. And we will also add a method uh, to delete the existing photo in this video. So go to our property controller uh, where we have all the API endpoints to handle property. And uh, here we need to add one more endpoint uh, to set the primary photo. Let me borrow the basic code uh, from the existing method and make the required changes. So this API endpoint URL should look like this. Uh, we are going to set primary photo of the property. First parameter, uh, we are going to set the property ID uh, for which we are going to set the primary photo. And second parameter, uh, we will get the public ID of the photo uh, that we, we want to set as the primary photo of this property. Let's make the changes here as well uh, as per our navigation URL. Public ID is already here. Add another parameter uh, to get the photo public ID. I am using the HTTP POST method only uh, for updating existing records as well. Uh, you can use PUT for updating the resources, but it hardly matters in our application as our API server does not depend purely on the HTTP verbs. We are going to thoroughly handle all exceptions uh, before updating the resources. So it doesn't matter what verb we are using. So to keep it simple, uh, we are going to use the POST method only uh, for updating and creating new resources on the server in this application. And as this section uh, can only be taken by an authorized user, so make sure you add authorized attribute also. Uh, let's rename this method as set primary photo. Here we do not need to post a photo. We just need to pass the property ID against which we are going to update the primary photo. So we need to take one more parameter or to get the photo public ID that we want to set as the primary photo. So our method structure is completed. Let's implement this method next. So we are going to handle all the negative test cases first. Uh, first of all, we should check if the property uh, that is being updated uh, should only be posted by a logged in user. To implement this check, uh, we should have a user ID of the user uh, that is currently uh, logged in. Uh, we already have a method name get user ID uh, to extract the user ID from the bearer token. This token is mandatory to pass uh, in the authorization header if uh, we are using the authorized attribute on any of API method. Next, we are going to get the reference of the property uh, that we are going to update. We already have a method in our property repository uh, to get the property by ID. So once we have property in this variable, we can check if the property is posted by the logged in user. And if it is not, uh, we should return a bad request uh, with an error message that you are not authorized to change the photo. It can also happen uh, that a user can pass any of such property ID that does not exist in the database. So we should check if property is null, then we should return bad request error uh, with a message that no such property or photo exists. Logically, uh, we should put this check before any other checks uh, because other checks will throw a null reference exception if this property object is null. So up to this point, uh, we have property reference in the property variable and we know that this property is posted by the same user that is logged in. Let's fetch the photo reference uh, from property dot photos that we uh, would like to set as primary photo. We can use the first or default method uh, to get the single results from the DB. And if it is not found, uh, this method uh, will not throw an exception. Instead, uh, it will return null value. We need to import uh, this method from system.link. Here we can pass the lambda expression uh, to filter the results uh, like this. P uh, goes to p.publicid. 
equal equal uh, photo public id that we will get from the user so first of all we will check if the photo exists or not and if the photo does not exist uh, we will return an error no such property or photo exist we can also display our uh, two different errors uh, for these two checks one for uh, specific to the property uh, like property does not exist and another one we can return photo does not exist but i do not want to give any clue uh, to the suspicious user uh, to guess the different property id or photo id so up to this point uh, we are sure that given property and photo exist and that is posted by the user that is logged in so we are ready to update the same at database level so before updating the photo we can check if the photo is already a primary photo and we can return an error uh, this is already a primary photo if it is already a primary photo uh, we can avoid the costly database call because of this check if all is well uh, we will get the reference of current primary photo because we also need to update the flag of the existing photo so just like we got the reference uh, of a photo here uh, we can get a current primary photo reference like p goes to p dot is primary and if current primary is not null we will set current primary dot is primary flag to false and set photo dot is primary equals true so all this update is happening in memory only up to this point next we can save our changes uh, to the database by calling the unit of work dot save async method and if this method is successful uh, we will return no content here in this case uh, to tell the user that request was successful and if uh, there is some error in save async call uh, we should return bad request uh, saying failed to set primary photo or better to say some error has occurred or uh, failed to set primary photo so our method is now ready to use uh, we have handled all the exceptions uh, let's test it next and check if all is working fine or not so let's go to the postman i have already added this new api endpoint to my collection uh, let's try to update the primary photo of this property so as per the api endpoint uh, we need to pass property id and public id of the photo and we can get the property id from the url from here so the id of this property is one and uh, if we uh, click on this photo tab uh, we can see uh, there are two more photos available in addition to the primary photo so for example if we uh, want to set this photo as the primary photo uh, we need to pass the public id of this photo as the second parameter in our api endpoint so to get the public id of this photo uh, we can right click on this and select inspect element and the file name of this image is the public id of this photo uh, that we have saved into the database as well so copy it and paste it as the second parameter here uh, in the api endpoint and submit the request but we get an unauthorized error uh, it seems our session has expired so one of our negative test case is tested by mistake so we can say uh, our authorization attribute is working fine let's get the fresh token uh, by logging in with the demo user after successful login uh, we get this bearer token as response uh, that contains all the user information in an encrypted form so copy it and paste it here as authorization header as bearer token uh, in our set primary photo endpoint request let's resubmit the request perfect we get no content now uh, that means our request is successful let's refresh the page uh, to see if this primary photo is changed or not yep photo is correctly changed and if we click on this photo tab the previously a uh, set photo is now being displayed here in the other properties photos and here on the home page as well uh, we are getting a new primary photo so our positive test case is working fine let's try to test a few uh, negative test cases as well try to pass any photo id that 
does not exist in our database and submit the request yep this exception is working fine and we are getting the correct error similarly we can try to pass wrong property id as well and the same error should appear next we can try to set the primary photo of any other property and that is not posted by the logged in user we can check it from the properties uh, table uh, to see if there are any property that are not posted by the demo user uh, that we are currently logged in from id of the demo user is one so this is the property uh, not posted by the demo user so property id number 55 is what uh, we need to look at and we will try to set the primary photo of that property so this is the property that is not posted by the demo user let's try to change the primary photo of this property ID of the property was 55 and paste the public ID uh, we just copied here perfect our API is not allowing us to change the photo if it is not posted by the logged in user the last test case is remaining to test passing the wrong property ID here that does not exist in the database let's try to pass any such ID that does not exist but instead of getting an exception we are getting this strange response of internal server error and if you look into the detail of this error this exception is being thrown in property repository at line number 56 let's go to that file in our repo folder and go to the line number 56 here this method is throwing an exception because we are using first async method and it always throw exception if no results are returned but we do not want to throw exception here and want to return null value if no results are found so we can use the first or default async method in place of this so this method will not return the exception now and it will return the null value if uh, no property is found save it and see if now we get the correct exception that we have handled in our property controller yep now we are getting the no such property or photo exist error so we have tested all of our negative test cases as well so next we will add the functionality to delete any existing photo